Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. AI tools have been absolutely exploding onto the market recently with lots out there that can automate repetitive tasks and help us to become more productive in our daily lives. The problem is that if you search Google or look through AppSumo or Product Hunt, it can be really difficult to figure out which are the best AI tools for you and you can end up spending all of your time browsing productivity tools rather than actually being productive. Now, I've been doing a massive deep dive testing out hundreds of new AI tools and so in this video, we're gonna be going over seven AI tools that I've been using to boost my productivity with a mix of free and freemium tools. And do make sure you stick around for a very cool learning and studying AI tool, which was just awesome fun to use. This video is very kindly sponsored by AppSumo, who have some really nice lifetime deals that enable you to get in early on lots of great AI tools, as well as a host of other helpful apps for a fraction of their normal price. So hit that subscribe button and let's take a look at the first AI tool on the list. Okay, so the first tool we're gonna to talk about is called Centered. Now, one of the best ways to maximize our productivity is to get into what's called a flow state. This is where we're completely laser focused on the task at hand and free from any distractions around us. And this is the basic concept behind Centered. You can choose from different focus groups. I chose Near IL's Undistracted group and also one called Book Genie. And I then got an AI coach with a very British accent. Hello, I'm Noah. Centered's virtual productivity coach. My coach blocked notifications and helped me set tasks for my focus session. And when you hit the play button, you get a focus timer and you can play focus music all to get you into that flow state and get more work done. If you then navigate away from the desktop app, you'll receive an audio nudge from your coach telling you to stay intentional, which is a pretty nice feature. Centered has some really nice social elements with the ability to match with a work buddy for added accountability. And these work sessions can also be linked to your calendar, making you more likely to stick to those deep work habits. Sendit has a really generous free tier and then the paid plan is $80 per year and includes full Spotify integration, unlimited task management and buddy sessions and integrations to project management tools like Asana. If you're interested in checking out Sendit, there's a link below with a discount code for the paid version and access to the free version if you'd like to try it out first. The next AI tool we're gonna to be talking about is ChatGPT's Code Interpreter plugin. OpenAI have been the leading force in the AI space over the last 12 months, and with the release of Code Interpreter, it's taken things to a whole new level. So how do you access it and what does it actually do? Well, to switch on Code Interpreter, you'll first need a ChatGPT Plus account, which costs around $20 per month, and then you'll need to go to settings and beta features and switch on Code Interpreter. You can then activate it from the GPT-4 plugin menu. And essentially what this does is it enables ChatGPT to use Python script and handle upload and downloads in a secure environment. The best way to think of Code Interpreter is it's like having a very junior programmer to help you at your fingertips. You can now ask ChatGPT to run scripts that run complex mathematical equations, analyze large data sets from CSV files, and even produce graphs to visualize this data. Code Interpreter can do some really cool things with image and video files too, like changing the color or size, or even producing QR codes that point to your website. This gives you just a small glimpse of what Code Interpreter can do, but now I want to talk to you about what my own personal use cases are. And the main one that I've been using Code Interpreter for is for cleaning up large data sets. At both Verti and my other businesses, I often extract things like website data from Google Search Console or data about how people are using our products in order to identify areas that we can improve upon. So for example, I extracted a huge file containing how people were searching for our website and then I uploaded this into Code Interpreter and was able to ask ChatGPT to tidy this up, extract segments of that data and even turn it into a nice graph for the team. I've also been using it to convert file types types, as I often end up trying to convert one file type to another, like turning an Anki deck into a CSV file or something like that. While Code Interpreter is really great, it's still in beta and it doesn't always do exactly what you want. I also found that because the uploaded file and code is held in a temporary storage area, if you want to work on something that takes a little while, it might ask you to upload the file again, which can be a little bit irritating. So hopefully this has given you a bit of an idea about how you might use Code Interpreter yourself and what it can do. I'll be diving more into Code Interpreter use cases in a future video video, so do make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. And now, let's move on to the next tool on the list. AI productivity tool number three is called Clay and I've been using it for a little while because we all know that people matter. But in our busy day-to-day -day lives, important people and life events can sometimes fade into the background of what we're doing. Clay works a little bit like a personal relationship manager. You start by importing your contact lists across social networks and your address book, and then Clay offers a powerful search tool that sifts through those contacts and provides customizable reminders and notes all in a single place. Clay then populates each person's entry with all of the relevant information that you need to recall for 
for any future meeting, ranging from their work history to their latest tweets to details on how you might have met them and when you last communicated, among other things. You can also add notes of your own to each entry, click to activate reminders to follow up with certain people, and organize entries into groups. The app supports a command bar, keyboard shortcuts, and home screen widgets as well, and is optimized for iOS and Mac tools. The end result is something that's not exactly an address book, but also isn't as necessarily complicated as sales or pipeline focused as a CRM system. I found that Clay was at its most useful when it offered me insights and reminders about my contacts, like suggesting catching up with someone I hadn't seen for a while, or allowing me to quickly search my contacts for anyone I'd worked with in the NHS who might still be working in the region. And birthday reminders and job updates are another couple of features that are absolutely essentially helpful in saving you lots of time and remembering personal information. I also found Clay really useful for business. As I do lots of talks and have lots of meetings, it's easy to forget where you might have first met someone, and it can be really time consuming looking up information about someone on LinkedIn with whom you're due to meet. Clay will integrate with your calendar, and I used it to quickly remind myself about people ahead of calls for that added element of personalization. Clay offers a free tier with a thousand contacts and then has a tiered paid offering starting at $10 per month for unlimited contacts and search history. As with all of these tools, I've popped down some links in the description below so that you can try Clay out for yourself. Okay, so next up on the list, we actually have two tools in one that I've been using to boost my productivity by automating and optimizing my workflows between all of the tools that I use. Now, I'm gonna be talking through Phantom Buster and Bardeen together, as although they're technically separate tools, I've been using them for very similar use cases. Let's start with Phantom Buster first, which focuses specifically on automating lead generation as generating leads and then converting these into actual customers is at the core of every good business. A lead is basically anyone who interacts with your content across social socials, visits your website, or who you've met at a physical event. The problem is that managing leads, enriching them with data, and keeping them interested can be quite messy across various social networks and email systems. And this is where Phantom Buster really comes into its own. I've been using its templates and connections to socials to automate things like exporting contact details from LinkedIn or auto-replying to DMs on Twitter. Phantom Buster has a free 14-day trial, and then pricing starts at $56 per month for a paid plan. Now, with a more general automation use case, Bardeen's automation goes even wider, allowing you to use AI to create automations between a wide range of tools. Now, at first glance, Bardeen may look just like another automation tool similar to things like Zapier that you might have used. However, its main differentiator is context, meaning it builds automations based on what's open on your computer screen. I found Bardeen pretty easy to use, as you can actually chat with the AI similar to ChatGPT and ask it to create automations. This saved me lots of time over having to search through templates or think about what I wanted to automate myself. The AI even goes a step further and will actively recommend automations based on what you're using in your browser. For me, I found automating things like extracting data from websites into an Excel sheet for research and for personal productivity, where I was able to create an automation that populated to-do tasks across platforms like Asana, Jira, and email. Bardeen has a free tier and then starts at $10 per month for premium automations and integrations. Okay, so next up, we've got Shiken AI Chat. Shiken is a popular learning app used by students and professional learners that primarily works a little bit like a cross between Quizlet, Kahoot, and Notion, as you can create your own questions and flashcards, play live games and take notes, as well as setting learning goals and diving into mindfulness focus mode to avoid distractions. Shiken Chat adds an AI-powered personal coach that acts as a tutor or coach for learners and an assistant for anyone creating learning content, like teachers or people wanting to create their own questions and courses. I found the chat interface was really nice with the simple ability to move it around and expand it being a great feature. I also found that by activating my microphone and using the speech recognition, this added to my productivity boost and saved me a ton of time over typing. Unlike tools like ChatGPT or Copy.ai, Shiken Chat is designed specifically for education, and the prompt library reflects this, featuring some really nice prompts split up by whether you're learning, creating content, or you want to be directly coached. For learners, prompts range from explaining a topic with the Feynman technique, to writing an essay outline, and even mimicking a historical character character, as well as generating active recall questions and lots more. If you want to be coached, there are prompts that turn Shiken Chat into a language roleplay scenario, or it can coach you on anything from productivity to practicing for an interview. If I was still revising for medical exams or exams at school, this would be insanely useful as it means you can work through some of the practice questions and not have to application switch to Google or dive into a book to more deeply understand the topic, saving you loads of time while reducing the need for an expensive in-person private tutor, which 
which I think would make my parents pretty happy. Now, as I create lots of courses and I'm obsessed with learning, the creator tools are also really nice with prompts to quickly generate questions, course outlines, and more. An awesome feature is that you can even generate quiz questions in bulk from the questions area, which saves lots of time if you want to create questions or flashcards in a bulk and not have to do everything individually. I also found myself using the AI tools within the focus or mindfulness area, which a little bit like Centered, helps keep you in that flow state with a mix of nature sounds and mindfulness music and exercises combined with a focus timer. The AI tools also plug into the notes system and similar to Notion AI, I was able to pretty quickly work within the chat interface and then copy and save things as notes, which could then be expanded or summarized with further AI tools in the What You See Is What You Get editor. Shiken itself is free to sign up to with Shiken Chat AI tools available on the paid tiers, which come with a 14 day free trial. They've also very kindly added in a discount code, which I've put in the comments below if you want to try it out for a little bit longer. Next on the list, we have Neuron Writer, which is a cross between AI copywriting tools like Jasper and Copy AI and SEO tools like Surfer SEO. Now, if you don't know what SEO is, it stands for Search Engine Optimization, and it's how I've built a number of my businesses to quick six figures without spending any money on paid ads at all. When you're starting off, creating content that's helpful and which ranks on Google will massively help you to get eyes on your product or service. The downside here is that content creation is slow and knowing how to rank first on Google can itself seem like a little bit of a dark art. The way that Neuron Writer works is that you enter the title of your blog or keywords that you want to focus on, and then it searches the competition and focuses your content based on what scores highly on Google already. The AI tools will also write the content for you. So for example, I used it to research a blog post on the best focus apps. I entered the keywords and title, and then it showed me the competition. Now I could assign that to a member of my marketing team and set a deadline using the tools in Neuron Writer, but in this case, I jumped directly into the editor. In the editor, I can then use the AI to generate an out outline for the article, and I can then get it to actually write the content too. Unlike other copywriting tools, it will give your content a score out of 100, and as you write and edit, this will then increase. A really cool feature here is you can quickly pull in common headings used by high-ranking articles and questions asked on Google, which save lots of time on your research. Now, without going too far down an SEO rabbit hole here, it's a great tool, and if you're looking at boosting your content strategy, it's well worth taking a look, with pricing from 19 euros per month. AI productivity tool number seven on the list is Veed, which we use all the time for video editing and which has recently added a whole host of AI features that they've been quietly rolling out. If you're not familiar with Veed, it's a cloud-based video editing platform, which is a little bit more accessible than tools like Premiere Pro or Final Cut if you want to create or repurpose video content quickly. My team's mainly been using Veed for repurposing content into shorts, where AI tools like the auto subtitle creator are really fast and pretty accurate too. Some of the newer AI video features we've been using include the ability to remove the background from a video, translating the video into other languages, and generating background music using AI. The weirdest AI feature I've tried out, which I'm not 100% down on yet, is the eye contact correction feature, which moves your eyes with AI to look directly at the camera. Pretty cool, but also a little bit freaky. Now, I personally use Premiere Pro, and I also have a video editing team, but if we want to quickly make some shorts or a quick promo video, Veed has lots of great features and a really accessible and simple interface, which is well worth checking out. Okay, so that was a bit of a walkthrough on how I'm personally using these seven specific AI productivity tools to boost my productivity and save loads of time each week across business and my personal life. Hopefully you got something in there that was actually really helpful to you. If you're interested in more tips on being productive, check out this video over here, which is about five habits that I do every day that have saved me around three hours per day. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing, and I'll catch you again in the next video.